Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this is an important video because this is a particular institute for which very less people are aware about and uh, that's why I'm making this video to make you guys aware especially for those who have just qualified gate exam and they don't have NET or LS exam. Okay, this is going to be a very important video for you guys. So this institute is known as CENS that is Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. So as the name itself suggests that this particular institute will be very specific for those people who are interested in nano sciences, in material sciences and they want to do research in this particular field. All right. So this is a very good opportunity if you want to do that because this is a specialized institute which is specifically made for nano and soft matter sciences. So they have announced their ad admission process. This is their official website and I will give you a link to come up to this page. All you have to do is go to the academic section, go to research programs. Okay, so once you click on this, you will be able to get this particular page which says PhD program. PhD program at CNS focuses on basic and applied aspects of advanced research. So all the things are mentioned over here. What I, I want to tell you is that applications are invited from the student for admission to PhD program of 2023 as a junior research fellow, right? All of you who join research for the initial two years you all are junior research fellow so that's what they will be and the areas of interest are given over here it can be in energy and environment it can be nanomaterial metamaterials soft matters or liquid crystals or surface interfaces okay all the research areas are also mentioned against all these broad areas okay now what are essential qualifications because see you will not find out other topics like organic chemistry and all because as the name itself this institute is not for organic chemists this institute is especially specially for those who are interested in material nano sciences right so what are qualifications required to apply for this so you should be having either msc or mtech from recognized university or institute in physics chemistry material science nano science and elite subjects with at least 60 percent aggregate marks for the general category and 55 percent for uh, sc and st can, uh, candidates Candidates should also have qualified at least one of the national level entrance exam that is CSI or NET, JRF only or GATE or JEST. So if you have qualified GATE then also you can apply for it. If you have JRF then of course you can apply for it. If you are an INSPIRE fellow then also you can apply for it. Okay. A specialization in condensed matter physics, electronics, material science, organic, inorganic, physical, general chemistry at material degree level is desired. So anything you should be having during your masters specialization in a particular thing even general chemistry are also uh, like accepted now student who have appeared for the final year examination and expect to obtain their result before 31st july can also apply for this okay so what's the selection procedure here so candidate will be shortlisted for an interview based upon their performance in the national entrance test that means the form basically they on the basis of your form they are going to scrutinize you and they are going to call you for interview depending upon how much score you have scored in gate or JRF, whatever you have filled. The final selection will be based on performance in the interview. So once you will be called for interview, everything depends upon your uh, performance in the interview. Note that the interviews will be held in person only. There will be no online interview. Okay, so that thing should be clear to you. Let's talk about fellowship and hostel facilities. So student who will be provided, uh, will be provided a fellowship of 31,000 per month for the first two years and 35,000 per month for the next three years. This is same as what a CSI or JRF person gets. Gets okay. Students can avail on campus hostel facility as well as per the norms laid out by the Department of Science and Technology. What are the travel grants which a student gets if he is a student of CENS? So students are encouraged to participate in national and international workshops, expos, symposia, and conferences. Center provides financial assistance up to 1.5 lakh during the five year duration of PhD program. So you will be provided 1.5 lakh rupees as a travel grant as well. Medical facilities are also provided like a clinic with the basic facilities is available in the campus. And what are sponsored candidates? So center also encourages motivated candidates from recognized R&D organization, academic institute, government organization and institute to join PhD at center on a full-time basis the candidate must be a regular employee so this the sponsored candidate is basically for those who are doing some job and they want to do phd also so in that case uh, they can also apply for it okay 
one and very important thing is that the last date for the receipt of a completed application is 30th of April. So make sure if you want to apply for it, apply before 30th of April. Okay, shortlisted applicants will be called for interview at CNS during the first week of June. All right. Now how to apply for it? Let me show you that. So all you have to do is you have to click on this particular link and now the form will open in front of you. The form contains all the basic informations like your name, your middle name, your last name, your gender, then you have to upload a photograph, then your address for communication, your permanent address is asked, your mobile number, email address, then how, what is the highest education qualification, then date of date and place of birth, area of interest, do you belong to any uh, minority category or do you belong to any uh, like uh, reserved category, then uh, are you a sponsored candidate? So in case if you are not an uh, employee of a particular place and if you are just a general student, you should do that you are no, you are not a sponsored student. And once you do, you, that, you do that, you will be asked that which exam you have qualified. So if you have just qualified GATE, just click here. If you have qualified GATE and JRF both, then you can click on both of them. It depends that which exam you have qualified based upon that you can click and you can see the options, more options are coming over here, right? Uh, this is just one page form, detailed form, but once you fill it, you can submit it and that's all. That's how you, you can apply for it and wait for the uh, final list which the institute is going to publish uh, for the interview, right? So that's all from my side for this video. I just wanted to inform you about uh, this particular institute in order to get notified for various different positions, various different uh, internship programs, application processes, please do subscribe the channel so that uh, you can you stay updated with the upcoming notifications. All right. So that's all from my side. See you guys in the next one. Till then, have a great day. Bye bye. Take care.